Today, people, we take a look at a new addition to the Jacobs Sniper family. And with the wedding invitation at the top of that list of snipers, in my opinion, the unseen threat has a big name to knock off that list. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and today I bring you another BF3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Unseen Threat is an exclusive Jacob Sniper Rifle to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC and for me this dropped from Amak, a dude who I've already posted a video on being an amazing legendary farm for all these new legendaries. I've seen this drop from him quite often to be honest, now it's probably a world drop too but that at the moment I cannot confirm. So let's check out this new sniper. Stat wise on paper it's quite a powerhouse rolling with that 6409 damage on this particular variant. With some amazing accuracy too, mag size is hefty also which is always good on snipers of this kind. Though slower than normal firing snipers we are used to seeing over the past few months, mainly the recently buffed Maliwan variants. Taste their fear. This weapon ricochets 3 bullets to nearby enemies. But what else does this do? Well testing it against the test dummy it's quite clear what this does. Every critical hit it spawns 3 tracking rockets that do around 20k damage to the body each. The crit damage of the sniper itself does around 40k damage. So it's truly capable. So per headshot these rockets targeting and hitting the body of the enemy will do about 130 to 150% additional damage in total which is great. Now using this against Grave Ward, although I ain't set up at best I can to deal maximum damage in terms of sniper rifles and so forth as I'm currently limited to what I have items wise on PC, I can't test this to the fullest like I could on Xbox. But what I can tell you is, this thing does indeed get to work. The only other weapon I've seen bug out Grave Ward like you will see in a second, due to overwhelming DPS, was indeed the Wedding Invitation. Check that clip out on screen now. Let you do the work! Now it's not just efficient against Grave Warders, your everyday ads take some punishment too. I obviously wouldn't recommend a sniper rifle like this to use within the slot shaft or the Malawan raid, but running through levels and maps where enemies don't overwhelm you is a great great weapon for sure. Definitely an amazing backup weapon. I'm loving the fact it now seems most new additions in terms of legendaries are really unique. This acts a lot like the King and Queen's cool, you just ain't as mobile with it, being a sniper. But all in all guys it is an incredible sniper rifle, but the question is, is it better than a wedding invitation? I'd personally say no, not to me it isn't, but I do feel that that could be argued for sure, it all just depends on what you need a sniper for. The fact you get your ammo back though per crit hit on the wedding invitation makes it more useful to me, but this I would definitely say is more powerful out of the two snipers. But even so, it's up there people, it's powerful, it's unique and let's face it, it looks pretty solid too. I absolutely love the design of this. So yes people, those are my thoughts on the Unseen Threat, the new Jacob Sniper Rifle exclusive to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video people. If you guys did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.